It's a sight Nashville Predators fans are happy to see. Smashville is alive and well ahead of puck drop against the Anaheim Ducks tonight. But it took a ton of work to get to this point after the Preds discovered Bridgestone Arena had been flooded. Though they're able to host a game tonight, there's still a long road ahead. News Channel 5's Chris Davis gives us our first glimpse at the damage that still remains. Water and electricity doesn't mix. And the Nashville Predators are learning that lesson the hard way. In the room, it all came down from the ceiling. There's still some in the wall. Spaces like the control room that play out all the video elements at Bridgestone Arena. And I had water up to about right here on me. Maybe a total loss. You look at our consoles over there, you have rust starting to form. Thankfully, a backup plan is already parked in their underground garage. Bringing in their truck for us uh, to help us out through these games and for the immediate future was, was great. And that's been a theme for the last few days for the Preds. When a 10-inch broken water pipe turned a hockey rink into more of a water park. Millions of gallons of water cascaded, you know, throughout the concourse, the whole thing, through the box office, you know, down our down aisles, you know, down through the electrical room. Not that they had time to finger point, but the director of Metro Water Services says if anyone's to blame, it's Mother Nature. We have temperature inversions or um, droughts, ground shifts. You can cause uh, breaks like this. But after the first wave of water has come a second wave of help. You looked around and you didn't know everyone in the building. It was a pretty cool thing. Dozens of portable HVAC units have been running around the clock to dry the place out as engineers go through the tedious process of evaluating what still works. Every inch of cabling is going to have to be checked. Every inch of cabling is going to have to be cleaned. Fans should know that not every elevator is going to be operational, but the Preds take pride in the fact that there's at least one operational elevator in every corner of the building. And sure, there are still plenty of scuffs on the wall and big repairs needed. This drywall, it's like a sponge. But considering the mixture of water and electricity could have kept this arena closed for months, the Preds hope the little details won't matter one bit when the players retake the ice. And they'll say, wow, where was the flood? And we're looking at each other, well, it, it's where you're standing. Chris Davis, News Channel 5. Even though Bridgestone Arena can host events again, all of the repairs needed may take up to six months. Thankfully, the costs will be covered by their insurance policy.